Um, so, basically, uh, you're going to take your triangles thing up here. That was originally triangle 6. And you're going to put it up here, X size times Z size times 6. So now when you run the game, you should kind of have it the um, map and height. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There! So, now you're wondering, give me a whisk, boy. Give me a whisk. Well, I'll give you a whisk. Alright. So, you're just going to have to make another loop. It's literally, it's this simple. 4 int z is equal to 0. Z bigger than z size, um, and z plus plus, and, coding monetage here, insert coding monetage here, blah, 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 no, I'm joking, we, we don't have coding monetage around here, we don't talk about that, okay, so, now you have uh, you, uh, <laughs> but we'll, we'll just not talk about this little, like, square just kind of just sitting here like a blob. We'll just, yeah, no one sees that. We'll just, we'll just keep going. So, um, actually, in the next episode, we'll figure it out, whatever. Anyway, um, so, it's a 10 by 10 of cubes, not cubes, um, quads, and... Basically, you're wondering, yes, I've got everything I need. Well, no, you don't, Johnny. You're forgetting a little something here. Um, we're going to need to scale it up using Perl and Noise. For math, uh, f.perl and Noise. <coughs> Perl and Noise is kind of just like a noise map, you know. Whatever. Oh. Just watch a video about it. I don't know. Um, Perlin noise is equal to x times 0.3f. Um, y times, I mean, z times 0.3f times 2f. And that will work. Um, that will work and stuff, but it won't be really as random. Oh, and, and, you know, let's just change the color for, you know, maybe, maybe the green. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good recommendation. Just, just maybe change it to green. Oh my gosh, green. Are you kidding me? Um, <coughs> so. Uh, it's, it's not, as you can see, it's not really so random. Uh, so, what you want to do is you're going to have, um, this, you're going to put random dot range, uh, and you're going to put brackets around here. And you're going to put, you're going to copy what's in here. You're going to put a comma before it. You're going to put that. And then you're going to say divided by 2f. Simple. And then you're going to want to do it with the other one. So random dot range. And then you've got that. And... Copy this code, do, 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 comma before, paste it, divide by 2f. So that'll just give you something random. And as you can see, that still, it looks better and it looks more realistic um, and stuff. But even then, it's not so realistic. So let's just go back into it and go like this. Uh, go to the 2F and do random dot range. 
There's a lot of random dot ranges. That's just that's just a caution. Um, yeah. Uh, I I I prefer 1.25f. Uh, I wouldn't go down to the negatives. Uh, unless you're doing caves, which we're not explaining in this video, so you're welcome to try and do it yourself. Um, yeah. So, 1.25 to 2F, and you can run it, and it's kind of as random as you can get. There, episode 1, and the last episode. There you go. Uh... Actually, maybe not the last episode, because we'll be adding textures and trees. But, as, as I once said, I'll add textures in the next episode, so get over it, you little piece of crap. Okay, I totally did not just spend a little bit of time kind of working on my code, but that's besides the point. Let's get back to this video and explain um, more about how this works. So basically, um, first of all, I'll show you what happened so far. Um, with a whopping 46 lines of code, my game object comes in making great, a pink triangle. Why? Well, um, if you're sitting here and wondering, seriously, I scripted all of this for a pink thing, trust me, in a minute, in maybe 10 lines of code to advance this script, we will be able to make, to generate some terrain and make it look pretty good, but that uh, never mind. Okay, let's just keep going. Um, basically, to make a quad, which, um, basically in Unity is defined as a, it's two triangles put together. Um, so, <clears throat> what we're going to need to do is triangle three is equal to one, uh, triangles uh, 4 is equal to x set is plus 1, and then triangles 5 is equal to x size plus 2. So, now when you join the game, um, oh, and you got, if you want to be able to see your thing, um, I learned this a little bit ago, you need to set the rotation to 180 on the x-axis, so make sure you do that. Um, so, now we have a quad, uh, kind of like a tile. Uh, and you may be wondering, I'm not a girl, I don't want this to be pink. So, montage, no. I'm not doing a montage, get over it. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna make this material, I'll just name it Matt, you know, material, you know, uh, totally not being sus. Um, so what you do, you click it, and if you don't understand materials, which you should, so we just click off this video anyway, but if you seriously don't under understand materials, yeah, you, sh you should probably watch a tutorial about, about that, but that'll be pretty embarrassing if you're watching a video like this and you don't even know how to change the color of a material. Anyway, uh, you have your quad now, but with this, we can advance to more difficult things. So, we're going to make a that, uh, 4 int x is equal to 0 x is bigger than um x size and x plus plus um and then we can do int vert as in vertices zero and int tries is 
as in triangles. Um, so these two values, so basically, vert plus, and then you just put that in front of all of this, vert plus, vert plus, blah, blah, blah. Just hold on a minute, okay? Um, anyway, basically, once you have this, you can say vert uh, plus plus, and then you can say tries plus is equal to six. <clears throat> and then you say tries plus, blah, 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 tries plus. Tries plus, tries plus, tries plus, hold on, we're almost there, tries plus. So, uh, when you join the game in Unity, you should kind of have a little um, thing, kind of stretching, hold on. We're having some errors here. This isn't ah uh, crap. Hold on a minute, people. We'll be right. Hello again, everybody. Today I'll be making a video of the first part of making a procedural generation world like this. Let me show you. As you can see, there are different edges every time you join and um, different heights of each edge. So right now I will be showing you the very first part to how you do this. First of all, you have to have unity, of course. Um, so you create an empty child, you create a script, you can name it whatever you want, but I'll just name it Terrain Gen for Terrain Generation, and I need to add a mesh filter and a mesh renderer. This is very important to have or else it will not function. Also, um, some of this code is from a YouTuber called Brackies, and I will have um, his channel in the description, so look out for that. Um, but I will better explain it to people who don't understand it as much, because trust me, at first it can be very confusing how to get procedural generation going. So make uh, two variables called vector three vertices and vector and int triangles. Um, so the vertices are the vertices of the mesh and the triangles of the mesh, which I will explain further later. And you're gonna write git component mesh filter. Uh, as you can remember, we just created that into the empty game object. Um, dot mesh is equal to new mesh. Now up here, we're going to write new mesh is equal to new mesh, and then you got to put a semicolon. Um, which everyone who, you know, isn't so new to Unity and kind of knows the basics should know. So you're going to make two voids void make shape and um, void update shape. So in void update shape, it will be simple. So New mesh clear and new mesh dot vertices is equal to vertices and new mesh <coughs> dot triangles is equal to triangles. Um, now let's start coding. So we're gonna need two ints. Public int x size is equal to twenty. Um, maybe ten. Uh, and public int y i mean z size is equal to 10. so it will be a, a 10 by 10 um blocks so in the make shape we're going to have to update the vertice variable and <clears throat> the triangles variable 
So the vertices is equal to new vector three. Um, and then you put x size plus one times z size plus one. And what this means is it means basically your array times uh, plus one, so it kind of uh, gets it correctly, and um, it covers basically all the vertices of your mesh, which I'll explain further later. So four int x is equal to zero, x is bigger than um, x size, and x plus plus, meaning x plus is equal to one. Uh, four int z is equal to zero, z is bigger than z size, um, obviously, and then z plus plus, once again. And then you're going to say vertices i, um, and i is a new thing, so you're just going to write int i is equal to zero, and i plus plus. Oh, and also so you know, if you are still currently watching the video, I will not be putting any of this code into like a notepad or anything so you can copy it. Because if you want to be able to understand this, you're going to have to watch the video and you're going to have to really pay attention and key in on the details. Because trust me, you'll only get learning a lot more quicker. Anyway. Triangles is equal to new int. At first, it will be three. <coughs> Triangles uh, zero is equal to one, I think. Um, Triangles one is equal to 